When in a business we generate data by, for example, selling products, it's very, very easy using Microsoft Excel to analyze it. Here we've got just such a spreadsheet and we've got all sorts of information about that product going across. And we've got quite a lot of rows here. You can see we've actually got about 8,399 rows exactly. So this data is great in terms of we've got it, we've got it recorded, and if we wanted to, we could add it up at the bottom. But how do we understand it? There's so much here, we can't possibly read it all and do all the calculations. And actually, this is a very small spreadsheet for a business that's generating a lot of sales. You might have tens of thousands of lines, hundreds of thousands, even millions. We're going to look at a technology that appears in different spreadsheets, including Microsoft Excel and some other software as well. This is called a pivot table, and it's very, very easy. To add our pivot table, we have to have all of our data in a spreadsheet like this, no gaps in the rows, and every single column that we've got data under needs to have a name. And we insert the pivot table by saying insert pivot table, just like that. Now what it comes up with is two things. First of all, here is the pivot table space where it will display it. And over here is the settings. And you drag these things down into the boxes below. So for example, I might want to know how many orders have been placed in total. So I drag this into the values box like that. And it tells me straight away that 214,777 orders have been placed. Now, what if I want to know that by country? Well, I can drag country into the rows box and immediately it gives me a breakdown by country telling me where I've sold the most and where I've sold the least. I can actually, if I click up to the top here, uh, do things like sort this data. So where are we? Uh, sort and sort largest to smallest. And so now we can see exactly what's going on. So maybe I don't want it by country. So maybe I want to know instead uh, by product category, like that. And I can even select the product subcategory and put it beneath, and you can see it breaks it down into a list of lists and gives me a total for each section as well as the individual totals and the grand total overall. Now I could carry on doing this, so for example I could put in how it's shipping and break it down like that, but it starts to get a little unwieldy again, it starts to get a little bit difficult. So what I'm going to do instead is to put that on the columns, and now you can see it's broken it down into two directions. So you've got my original section where it broke it down by quant uh, product type and sub-product type over here, and then over here it breaks it down by the delivery mode so I can see for example for chairs and chair mats that most were delivered by delivery truck whereas for office furnishings apparently most of them were delivered by regular air so that would be air freight so already this looks very useful we can answer questions now the thing is maybe I want to narrow this down by country so what I can do is I can put that on the filters up here and maybe customer segment as well. And it puts it up at the top. So I can then say, well, actually, do you know what? Give me this exact same table, but only for Albania. And it does it just like that. And give me this exact same table for Albania, but actually only for home office. Like that. And it gives me all of those things just instantaneously gives me the data. 
So we're going to be looking at how you do this, how you break this down. Now there's one last thing I want to have a look at, which is actually you can change what the values are. So at the moment, we have got the data, which is all about the sum of the orders. What instead, if I wanted to know with the same breakdown, the average price that things got sold for. So I drag this off, I drag unit price on, but I don't want sum of unit price, I want the average. So I select value field settings. So I'm going to say average in there, and it will give me the average prices. Now these look a little bit ugly, they don't look like prices, so let's go back in. Let's go to value field settings, and I can click on number format. And instead of it being a general format, I'm going to click on currency. I'm not interested in pennies, so I'm going to reduce that. And I'm going to say OK and OK. And you can see immediately it changes the format so that we can see what's going on. And we can see how much of each thing contributes to the average. Now, actually, maybe I just want to see all products again. And maybe I don't want just home office. And again, it just updates absolutely immediately. So this is a fantastic way of questioning data.